hey what's happening you guys so here with the <coughs> another tutorial excuse me um so this one's actually pretty simple it's only four commands um it's not as hard as it seems like it would be it's a pretty simple system i have it set in the nether and the overworld but i'll just show you how i did it in the overworld so four commands here um we'll get started with these two so what this is is it's a title and it's displaying so as you saw in the demonstration it was under my crosshair the only reason it's under my crosshair is because i have a java pvp add-on sorry this is off topic but if you notice i have that sword it, if you, you saw it there for a second i'll show you again so anytime i hold a weapon so i have a few add-ons on this world it's my faction wars map but uh these are the commands <coughs> these are the commands here sorry i'm sick so it's kind of hard talking um but so for the first one you're going to do a title and you're going to do rm which it's not a radius of 3000 it's outside of a radius of 3000 so if they're outside the like um these coordinates here um if they're outside like 3000 blocks away from this coordinate then it'll start doing this command here and so for your coordinates you're going to do x y and z now put your coordinates wherever you think is like the center of where your border is um my coordinates here i have a, a lobby for my map this is just the center of my lobby so whenever they're really far away from my lobby then they can't go past just to prevent lag so they don't make a ton of like stuff outside the border um or outside the map so like or more chunks and stuff so it just limits chunk loading um this is a 40 tick delay for these first two commands and this is the second one uh th or this one's going to be on a 20 tick delay because this is displaying this needs to be on a 20 tick so then this displays and this also displays so because if it's this is on a zero tick then they'll both then this won't be displayed and this will only be displayed. If you only want this one to be dis uh, be displayed, just put this on a zero tick. But if you want both to be displayed, like they switch back and forth, put this on the 20 tick. And so I have a warning uh, for this. I have it set to 3000. So um, while they're in like past 3000 blocks, it'll only give them a warning. But once they get almost 300,000 uh or not 300 excuse me 3100 blocks out then it'll do the turn back so they have a hundred blocks of war like they have a a warning area of a hundred blocks so they don't like instantly like start taking damage and so that's what these two are for now for this you're going to want this on a 15 tick and this this will be on a zero tick so for this one uh this is for the warn like this is for the first one for the warning damage so it doesn't instantly kill you but it slowly kills you now i have this set to uh 3100 instead of i the reason why i don't have it three uh 3095 is so they have a short window of turning around so it's 3100 blocks and again it doesn't have to be like the exact same radius as mine like for your guys's it could be completely different but this is just what i have um I'll explain something else with this radius once I've finished with the rest of the commands. So then I just have my spawn coordinates. And then two is the damage, so that's one heart. One is half a heart for the uh, for the damage, and two is a whole heart. And for void, this is the damage type. So when you die by this damage, it says you fell out of the world. And then, so for this, this is the kill. Now this, I have it set to 50 blocks um, away from like the small damaging um don't worry about that uh i don't know if you heard that there's uh, skeletons but for this i just have a 50 blocks away from the warning damage again spawn coordinates and then 25 which is an insta kill and uh the reason why i don't have a slash kill is because i want it to say fell out of the world that's why it's not a slash kill and so that's all you have to do for these guys and now let's say you wanted your radius to be like a hundred blocks then you would put this to a hundred and then you would put this to like 120 because you don't want it too big if it's like a really big border like mine then you can have a hundred blocks of warning uh, like a you have 100 blocks of warning before you hit the turn back but if it's like a small border you're gonna you don't want the warning to be too big um, unless you want it to be so i would recommend if you had your you know radius for example at 100 you would put this to for this you'd put it to 120 or something like that and for the damage you do um 
105 or no you yeah do like i don't know one you might as well just do 100 and then actually no you do 120 for that damage and then for this you do 140 i don't know for, for example just just giving you food for thought um but yeah so that's what you do for this uh, it's really simple quick tutorial i uh, hope you guys enjoyed any questions comment below um by the way uh here on the channel i potentially with my subscribers might actually surpass my main channel i did not expect this sec my second channel to blow up and i'm also only gonna uh make tutorial videos for this account so on my main channel i'm probably either going to delete the tutorial videos on the other channel or just leave them and not add any more because i was just testing to see which one got more views and clearly this one's getting more views with tutorials so i'm going to only make tutorial videos on this uh channel and on my other channel it'll just be for everything else pretty much um i might also upload content on this channel for uh other minecraft videos but we'll see but yeah this is the tutorial hope you guys enjoyed um but that's it Take care, you guys. <clears throat>